the new Whitechapel station will provide an interchange hub for three services, the new Elizabeth Line, the existing London Overground and the existing London Underground, Hammersmith City and District Line. The, the majority of passengers using the new station will in fact be interchanging between one of the three services. The station uses the existing uh, entrance area from Whitechapel High Street, but behind that facade will be a completely new ticket hall, much enlarged, much taller and flooded with natural light. At platform level will resemble very closely the other central line stations. However, as one moves up through the station, as one comes to the top of the escalator, we start to then reflect the local context. There are two key local elements that have strongly influenced the design. The first is the existing street and rail pattern, which has uh, generated the unique configuration of the station. The second is the uh, local urban uh, fabric and material used, where we've taken a lot of the um, material cues from the local buildings. We're trying to, wherever possible, utilise bricks taken from the demolition back into the existing fabric so we have a seamless uh, build. The concourse has been designed to knit together all the uh, different um, services within the interchange and uh, the idea is that it also provides a link from the north to, so to south pedestrians. The sedum roof is one of the design elements that we introduced as part of this desire for the station to be as sustainable as possible. Sedum is basically a, a very resilient grass. It covers the concourse and ticketing hall um, and has been used uh, for several reasons. First of all, it's good at absorbing CO2. Uh, it retains water, so it's good in terms of managing water uh, at certain times of the year. It's a good insulator, both from heat and cold. Uh, and also it's a good habitat for uh, insects and other small animals, etc. As part of the design, we're actually including a new access from the north side of the station uh, from Derwood Street. Uh, and that will be a pedestrian route on the unticketed side uh, of the station. So people who aren't even going to be using any of the forms of transport will be able to move from north to south, which is the first time really that's happened since before the railways came in the Victorian period. On the south side on Whitechapel High Street, the public realm will be extended and it will also be integrated with the works that are currently happening for example the new cycleways, new pedestrian routes and also working with the existing markets that are there. And then on the north side uh, this new route that we're creating that links to Derwood Street uh, there's a new square being created at Derwood Street to actually emphasize its future importance in linking into the community uh, and areas to the north that really haven't formed part of uh, the rail experience in the past. The new station will provide a key hub for the whole of the East of London and I think the public are going to be very surprised how easily they can move from and within the three services and of the quality and the originality of the design. When the station opens, the thing that most excites me is basically arriving on the high street uh, with the existing entrance which mainly will remain unchanged, walking through and the new space opening out in front of me.